Oh, dude, this is crazy. Hold for identity scan. Ninety nine point four seven accuracy. Did you guys see that? It's gonna open up. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Please step inside. <laughs> oh dude. No way. What on Earth? Three hundred and fifty-five thousand five hundred and ten days of the day for your meeting with Mr. Fair. Please proceed to the thirty-fifth floor. Wait, wait, wait. Three hundred and fifty thousand. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? So it's not my mom. Definitely not my mom. A deathbringer. Or a statue of one, anyway. A machine built to kill, and they honored it? Welcome to Feral Automated Solution. What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. Dude, this is insane. And kind of creepy at the same time. The air. There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Another cave in. But I could get through. What is this? I just jumped. I just jumped really hard. Wasn't sure what the heck was going on and it scared me. Okay, so we want to go back up. But we can't really go the way we came because we fell. So we're going to retrace our steps and get back up top and this time hopefully not fall. So we're meeting in Ted Farrow's office, which is where our meeting was however many hundreds of thousands of days ago. I have no clue what we're doing. I can't spare the weight. Nice. Pretty good. I think we want to go right. Nope. Down. I think we want to go right here. Yeah. Some Assassin's Creed going on. Made it. Looks on this like way? The way up. What's left of it? Aloy is my hero. She is such a badass, dude. Gonna 
gonna be a long way up. Frozen metal most of the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Sobek. If plants can find a way to hang on up here, I guess I can too. Holy cow, dude. No way. With ease, baby. What are these memories laid on the ground? Since the began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operation. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. So these, maybe these machines were built as like, you know how we have drones and stuff nowadays. Maybe that's what they're meant to be for war. And obviously someone at some point lost control of them. And they uh, became self-reliant. It's heavy. world's going on. <sighs> I thought we died. I thought we were dropping to the bottom right there. Let's jump again. Look at how high up we are. This is unbelievable. To think this used to be a huge skyscraper in the middle of a downtown area. And now it's just... Got too much already. I don't even know how it's still standing. Like, this thing fell apart, but somehow its base is still put together. I guess it's pretty well built. That was sketch. Takes us a few good handholds. All right, made it. We made it to the top, boys. Find. Started from the bottom, now we're here. <clears throat> the heck is this? FAX or FAS Ex Executive Data Storage. Secure three zettabyte storage racks, six percent power remaining. Data has been erased in this device. Do you wish to deploy item privileges to recover purge data? Absolutely. Yes, I believe I do. A file has been recovered. Okay. So we want to scan the data point over here. Dude, this was his office. Looks like you're at the head of a ship or something, you know what I mean? Like, look at this. This is incredible. Anyway. Elizabeth, good to, uh, it's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's 
a glitch in the chariot line. Your killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes, those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another cell has been recovered. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. What? You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. So this is how it all started. This corporation was building these robots. Threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. So another the final one. Has been yep. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there were a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. She's ruthless. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. So what's Zero Dawn? It was their we'll way of fighting back. Ted. But what From is... here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. What the heck? This, this doesn't add We up. don't know what it is yet. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching and I'm still no closer. That's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. 
For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. <laughs> Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. Damn, he's roasting. All right, Silence, you've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Sobek. And I have, but I still don't understand my connection to her. Or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me. Or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, We've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. No. Are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Ha! <laughs> Alright! You're insufferable, you know that? Let's get on with this. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cheery name. You'll find it in the eastern mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. So, Silence! An interesting guy! He, uh... Yeah, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. I don't know, he's US been following us. Next, ...to learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. He knows a lot more about us than we know of him, and we have no clue like where he is, how he's able to appear in front of us, or anything that's going on with him for that matter. But um, I don't know. Like we got some answers there, but I feel like we got even more questions than answers. Things are, are really starting to heat up here. This is awesome. And now we've got to head to Grave. We were just right here at Maker's End, and I say before we move on to Grave Horde and continue our adventure, let's check out our next cauldron. So we already have three cauldrons down, there are two left, and there's one right here along our path that we're taking over to our next objective. So uh, why not check it out along the way? This is going to get pretty intense. I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. Let's, uh, let's do this thing. Here we go. Alright, so we're on a... Oh, shoot. I definitely want to get this fox. We're in need of good fox skins. Got that bear in one shot. Or not bear, boar, I meant to say. Who is that attacking? Oh, it was attacking other Nora, okay. Whoa! Okay, we've got one other one coming. All right. Took care of business there. It's all good to go. Holy cow. All right. I was going to mount up on our uh, our little guy here, the charger. But it's probably not a good idea. We probably need to go around and get as much health herb as we can before we move on to our... Uh, our cauldron. Holy cow, dude. I didn't know there were to be three of them there. I thought there was only one that we had taken over as our own. Oh, well. That's alright. 
I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna pick up some herbs, and I'm gonna see you guys once we make our way over there to that cauldron. New cauldron, Zeta. All right, fellas, here we go. What do we? <gasps> We've got a stalker right there. Now the thing is, I believe we can take them over. Oh! Okay. We haven't seen stalkers before, never mind. I thought. I don't know what I thought this was, but it's not what I thought it was. Hit it in the weak spot. There it is, it's down. What the. They're not very strong. The problem is they can disappear on you. One more. We got him. Holy cow. I wasn't sure what the heck was going on. For some reason, I was thinking that that was, um, what are they called? It's not the, the tooth one. It's like the, the Ravager. Is that what they're called? There are two of them that are like pretty big, kind of like the saber tooth. talking about to be honest. Let me take these guys out though. We need one good hit. Oh yeah. Get out of here! One more! They're down. Holy cow. So if that's a sign of what's to come, I'm honestly a bit nervous. Got stuff up there throwing stuff at us. Watchers. Down for us. And the major problem is, is we don't have much in terms of health. We've got uh, one little health upgrade in our bag. So this is uh, this is potentially going to get ugly. But I've never been one to shy away from a, a challenge. Not get in here. We have to kill him first. I've always wondered that if there was like a, a level limit to the whatever they're called. Cauldrons. How do we get to him? I'm trying to see if we can get his attention. But if we fought these guys already, we definitely want to go in this cauldron. Guess we'll try climbing up this way. The problem is those stalkers could respawn. How much would that suck? Did we just fought three enemies that turn invisible and then they respawn on us? Guarding the entrance in? Okay, he was helping us out. He was doing us a solid. Alright. We've got some creepy stuff to overcome here. Enemies turning invisible. Whew. It's not gonna be easy. I love these things, man. Oh my gosh. Right. Safe enough to drop down. <gasps> I forgot they've got the mushrooms down here. We are gonna have to look out for those big time. We need as many of those as possible. We are looking weak today, fellas. 
Honestly, we probably... Shoot. We probably should have dropped some stuff here. Drop those. Shock. Anything that's just a single upgrade in green, I'm gonna drop. Because we always get a ton of stuff from these... These caves. I wanna make sure that we're... Wide open. Something back there. Some health, but every 24% addition is a big, big difference. That's good stuff, guys. All right, let's continue on. I'm nervous about dying here. I feel like we're coming in kind of ill prepared. But, let's try our best. We have all of our arrows made, pretty much. I guess there's not much else we could do. Luckily, we are getting all the health we need. So we need to go up. Let's go up. I think we need to go down. I think we're going to be going through here. Which is kind of creepy. I keep thinking of uh, Harry Potter. And like the dead bodies that were coming out of the... the like gray pool that took Dumbledore and stuff. Are you kidding me? A thunder jaw. There's a thunder jaw right there. Two watchers. Can't override it. But perhaps I could learn how in the cauldrons. Dude, is this it? All the other cauldrons have been like hardcore, all kinds of stuff you have to do, all kinds of different areas you have to get through things you have to ride and this is just like no you're good to go just just kill a thunder jaw no big deal you got this it's just a thunder jaw I wonder if we could override these watchers to help us out is that really even gonna help dude I am so nervous about this Let's just take these guys out. Not this time. Okay, so we're gonna try to be smart about this because honestly, I think I'm coming into this a little bit ill prepared. We're only a level 23, which is decent, but I've seen people a lot higher levels not really succeed against these things. So um, his weakness is stuff that does tear damage. So let me see what we can do here. We're gonna go into our skills. We have three available. I really wanna get the, okay, we already have Tinker. I didn't know we already had Tinker. Okay, so that's good. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna go into our inventory and if we go to, um, or no, actually crafting and then modify weapons, we're gonna choose our bow and we're gonna want to do things that have tear and damage. So like this, let's swap this out. We want something with a lot of damage or a lot of tear or both. Um, fire and tear, fire, fire, damage, tear, damage and fire. I guess 34% damage is gonna be pretty good. Let's go ahead and swap those out. This does 16 and then that does 19% tear. I don't think we're gonna beat 16% damage. 18% tear, 45% handling, that's not bad. I guess, let's do that. Cause he's weak against tear, so that's what we want. Tear is what happens when you tear off the components from the machine. So that looks pretty good. And honestly, I'm trying to think of what we do. We probably want to set up some rope caster stuff. Like I, I'm trying to think of the, like, the most kind of like smart way to, to look at this and to work on this. So let's see if we get anything else here. That machine course. Um, to get more health. Obviously, we're gonna need a lot of health. Hopefully, we got a save point somewhere around here. So if we die, we're gonna be able to try this again. But I'm gonna try my best to, to nail this first time. We'll see what happens. 
There are absolutely no guarantees because we're going into the ring with arguably the toughest enemy in this game. I didn't know you could do the uh, cauldrons out of order, but this is definitely the hardest cauldron of them all because it gives you the, the most upgraded enemies to be able to take over. So, I don't know, man. This could be a really, really bad idea. It could be a great idea, but it could be a really, really bad idea as well. So we're full health. We've gone around and picked up just about everything. Nothing there. All right. I think it's time. I do. Let's make sure we're all up on arrows. Um, I mean, we've got blast wire and shock wire we could set everywhere. Go ahead. Put some blast wire there. Put another one behind it. We can back up into this corner when he starts coming after us. We'll hit him with two. Sounds like a plan to me. And maybe set some up over on the other side. Find another corner we can get into. Get him to chase us and then just do the same thing. We don't want to run into it on our own, but actually, yeah, that's not good. Pick that up. We're gonna give us enough space to get around the outside, and that's probably too close to the other one. We're gonna put it back here. So then we can just kind of run around, you know what I mean? Alright. I don't know if we're gonna get any better here. Oh my god, dude, I'm so nervous. Uh, definitely want to get three arrows spun up on our bow. So we'll get all three in there. Ready to fire. Here we go, boys! Oh my gosh, we are probably going to get absolutely murdered here and have to come back for like 30 plus or something. Alright, where's weak spots? Uh oh, someone's broken. 483. Oh! Alright, where are those blast fires? Give me three of these on here. We're doing okay. I mean, it could be worse, right? Go ahead and remake all these. 500 and a component removed. Oh! It's his first time hitting us. We're stuck.
Okay. Leave Aloy alone! Ah! The issue is... Is we are no longer getting to his weak spots here. The stuff that's on his back... We can't get to when he's facing us and fighting us like this. Why did that say hold the override? Oh. No! That was gonna take that off right there. definitely beat this guy this is so easy if we just start aiming at his face right away I didn't realize that the face was gonna do that much damage I thought we had to get those little like explosive reactor things in the back oh my gosh that was a fight in half I actually really enjoyed that we should have had it if we would have been able to pick up that stupid piece of mushroom I don't understand why it didn't let us that honestly it, it makes no sense to me but I know what we're gonna do now I know exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna shoot those things on its back end first. <laughs> I was gonna try to override this guy, but he had already seen us. I was gonna wait. Okay. Dude, I cannot, this mushroom right here, it's the one that did us in. It still won't let us pick us up, pick it up. Wow. Wow is all I have to say. That stinks. Okay, I think we're a little bit better prepared this time. We have all of our traps set up, and I think we're going to be good. So I'll walk you guys through our strat here. We're going to activate it by this one, and then immediately we're going to hit him with, uh... 
three of them, and that, and that. So that's what we couldn't hit last time. It was on his backside. We couldn't get him. Those are weak spots, and then the thing up top are weak spots. But you can see all three of those when he's in front of you, looking at you. You can't get these. So we're going to hit these first. As he's coming at us, he's going to hit that tripwire, and then this tripwire. And then we're going to run this way. He's going to hit this one and this one. And we're going to keep running, and we'll lead him into that one. The entire time, turning around, shooting him and just laying waste. At least that's my plan. So we're gonna see if it works out. I think we're gonna be able to get it. This time we kinda know what's happening and uh, we should be okay. So here we go, fellas. It's game time, boys. If we could hit those two like backside reactor type things right off the bat, that would be huge. That bitch. Uh-oh, someone's broken. Couldn't it too? He's got another tripwire to hit, doesn't he? Uh, he may have already hit it actually. Oh god. Okay. That's pretty gnarly. I think he blew our first two, two tripwires in one. Hopefully it did double damage. That's something down. More of these. Enjoy that blast wire, boy. Enjoy that second one. He said, enjoy that tail. There's another wire over here. No! Dude! Ah, oh, you son of a biscuit eating bulldog! Why do you always move? He just blew up our tripwire, too. Why do you always move right when I'm gonna hit that? That thing up there. Of course he moved. How does he know? He must know I'm going for that. He, that's the only explanation. Got you. Let's go. He's hurt. He didn't even know where we were for a second. What's that thing we're aiming for on the right side there? Oh, we're looking good, boys. He is, he's hurt. That's another component removed. not what we want. We got too close. We honestly kind of let him have that one. We probably should lose. Let's 
trying to line up the shot. All right, one more good hit, and we're, we're good. Right there! Let's go! Woo! What's good, playboy? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I was nervous there. I didn't want to... I don't want to choke it again, but that is huge. Oh my gosh, guys. We did it. That is the Zeta Cauldron down. And that, my friends, means that we can now override Thunder Draws. Making, making sure we didn't miss anything around here. I don't think we did. Is there anything that fell off of him that we could pick up? I mean, this is a monumental moment. This is our first ever Thunder Jaw that we took down. So I want to make sure that uh, make sure that we don't miss anything. It's that plant back there that we can't actually use. Oh my gosh, dude! The plays, baby. The plays. Cauldron Zeta. Information to help me override more machines. Give me a lot of XP for that, please. I want a heck of XP. 10,000? That's all right. It's not that great. Let's see what we could override, though. Zeta overrides are available. So now we can override... Stormbirds, Thunderjaws, and Rockbreakers. Holy cow. Could you imagine having a Thunderjaw as a pet? I don't like these guys. Stalkers. I think I'm just going to fast travel out of here. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. We are going to be heading all the way up north to the uh, Grave Horde up here. So we're going to choose a campfire that's close. And we're going to head that way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.